That's what I'm guys. I'm going to talk today about more about Jesse Leroy Brown the first African-American naval aviator, and CNN did an excellent article about him. I believe it was back in 2015, 2015. And Jesse Leroy Brown, um, while by his own admission, he, had, he admits the bigotry in the Navy had disappeared for him once he got his naval aviator's wings and got assigned to the USS Leyte, um, there was an obstacle he had to overcome. And from Jesse Leroy Brown's situation, um, no other flight instructor except for Roland Christensen would give Jesse Leroy, would want to teach Jesse Leroy Brown. Roland Christensen from Nebraska volunteered to instruct Jesse Leroy Brown. And then the other instructors were like, why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do this? And Roland Christensen just wanted to. And he said, uh, the, the other instructor said, I should say, the other instructor said, go ahead. Don't know why you want to do it, but go ahead. And usually, particularly for his basic pilot courses, he flew with Roland Christensen, and Roland Christensen graded him. And Roland Christensen just told Jesse Laura Brown, show me what you got. And Jesse Laura Brown said that meant a lot to him because Roland Christensen judged him as a fighter pilot, or as a pilot, but not by the color of his skin, just somebody who wanted to be a pilot. And Jesse Laura Brown and Roland Christensen corresponded afterwards, and Roland Christensen really didn't understand why he wanted to um, help out Jesse Leroy Brown because Roland Christian was from Nebraska. He had never um, interacted with um, African American much until Jesse Leroy Brown. And coming from Nebraska, I think the first time he ever saw a black person with his own eyes uh, was when he was in high school. But Roland Christian said he, when he first saw Jesse Leroy Brown, he that Jesse felt lost and just out of place, just because he, the Navy at the time, only had five African American officers. And Roland Christian remembers moving from the farms in Nebraska to the cities um, when his father got a new job. And he just, because of the differences in culture between city and countryside, um, Roland Christensen had trouble fitting in. So the Jesse Leroy Brown situation made Roland remember when he was, um, when he was uh, moved to the cities and he was lonely at first. Okay? And after Jesse Leroy Brown died... And on December 4th, 1950, and Thomas Hudner made a heroic attempt to rescue Jesse Leroy Brown. Um, that inspired Roland Christensen to give up flying airplanes for the Navy and to be a rescue helicopter pilot for the Navy because he wanted to save lives after that. And that's, that's an amazing story as well. Um, just going from what the article says, uh, Je when Jesse Leroy Brown had the officer's uniform in Pensacola, um, a lot of the African-American stewards and cooks um, resented Jesse Leroy Brown and they um, um, they sometimes would give him just a half a serving instead of a full serving but Jesse Leroy Brown did find a, a friend in Albert uh, Demps Albert Demps shine shoes for the officers an African American man named Albert Demps and Albert Demps and Jesse when duty was over they would talk and um, Jesse Leroy Brown would talk about how that God does not see race or color so humans should not see race or color as well. Now, as I pointed out, or I need to point out, you know, because Jesse Lord Brown wanted to aspire to do, um, to be an officer and not an enlisted person, and because he wasn't anti-white, there was resentment among some African American sailors at first. But the Tuskegee Airmen knew about the Jesse Lord Brown situation, and they were his biggest cheerleaders and one of his biggest encouragers. And eventually, the African American stewards and the African American enlisted personnel changed their way of thinking. And when Jesse Orban did his first carrier landing, the first carrier landing is usually um, where a lot of people can see it. They lined up to take uh, to cheer Jesse Orban on when he did his first carrier landing as part of his naval training, and they were um, astounded and were very happy for him. And this just shows you persistence, and it shows you to love other people. It shows you to be a devout Christian. The article talks about how. Um, Jesse Lord Brown wrote a lot of love letters to his wife Daisy. His wife Daisy was the love of his life, and he um, was uh, talked about how much he missed her when he was aboard the USS Leyte, um, fighting against communism. And you know, props to CNN for reporting this. This is, this is an excellent article. And you know, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.